family, welcome back to my channel. Today for you guys have a Dollar Tree haul. Pepper is like currently in my back. She's playing with a toy. So you might hear something squeaking. Uh, before we begin the Dollar Tree haul, I'd like to share with you guys my graphic shirt. Matt got me this for Christmas. It says Hug Dealer and it has Cheer Bear from, um, what is it? Uh, oh, I can't think. Care Bears. He was like, when he gave it to me, he's like, I don't know if you're going to like this because of what it says. The saying is weird, but I like it because it has Cheer Bear. I think it... It's from Kohl's. I'm not positive though. Okay, so let's begin the haul. We're gonna start off with Easter items, you guys. Look at this. You guys, Dollar Tree is killing it this year in the Easter department. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is bigger than like the love sign from um, Valentine's Day. This is bigger than the beware sign, but it's thinner. So look at this sign, it's, it says Easter, it has a bunny with little bunny feet. Oh yeah, it says happy right there. This is so cute. And then there's a different one that you can get. It's very similar, the difference is there's no like body, as you can see. So it's just the head, the feet down there, and then this one has like the entire body to it. You guys, that is so freaking cool. And I can see so many people using these to make like bigger porch signs. Look, you only need two of them to make a big old sign. I thought they were so cute. I bought three of them. Obviously, I want to use one for a DIY. And then they got a bunch of trucks in. So I know people are over trucks, but there are a lot of people that still love trucks, including myself. But these are the little red trucks. There's a blue truck that has a little um, bunny going inside of like the pickup truck, the back of it. And there's like carrots inside of there. It says Happy Easter there and Happy Easter right here. And then I got this pink one where the bunny's like diving itself into a bunch of eggs. And again, it says Happy Easter, Happy Easter. So if you're not into the red truck, they do have these and they're really, really cute. And I just used these to do a DIY. I uploaded a Valentine's Day, what am I talking about? A um, Easter DIY if you're interested. If I remember to link it down below, I will. The next thing I got is um, this Cottontail Crossing Carrot Patch Easter Bunny sign. So this, I haven't seen this before. And you can put like a pick down there and then just have like a really cute little pick sign in the front of your house. And what I like about this though, it's not just the arrows. Each one has a little thing near it that kind of pops out. I can see people doing a lot of DIYs with that thing. And then I got this one that says, this chick is ready for Easter. This one's so cute. They had a bunch like this, not with the chick, but like the shape of it and just different things. But this was the one that I liked the most. And then I got this bunny. Here we go. It says Happy Easter. This is a repeat buy for me. I bought this last year. I also bought one that has like a spring sign, but I just used it in a DIY so I can share it with you guys. And the final Easter item I have to share with you guys is a repeat buy for me. They had this last year. It was my favorite thing that they carried last year. It's just this bunny head with these two carrots down here that says Happy Easter. And what I like about this, beside the way that it looks in general, is a lot of these pieces you can take apart and use for DIYs, especially farmhouse type of Easter DIYs or even like neutral Easter decor because the like carrots aren't too in your face, the orange in this, it's not too in your face, it's not too bright. Okay, now moving right along. You guys, how cool is this? I always see people like DIY this stuff. Oh my gosh. Dollar Tree cut little windmills in. So it's for like gardening and summer. I think there's another one. I think there's one that says welcome. I haven't seen it in person though. It's a wind chime, this one. So I got two different ones. I got just like a regular galvanized metal look. So it's more like black and silver. And then I got this one that is like silver and like a robin blue. And both of them have the bells at the bottom to make it a wind chime. I thought that was so cool. I know so many people are gonna be using these things for DIYs, like no doubt about it. And look. It like spins. Hopefully I find the welcome one. You guys, I thought that was it for the Easter stuff, but it's not. I'll share the rest in a few minutes. Anyways, so Dollar Tree got some new of these like signs. They remind me of tabletop decor. That's what I call it because it's just like pieces that you put on top of like a counter and it just kind of sits there. So my favorite one of them all is this one that says wash, dry, fold, repeat. It's a little laundry one. Then there's this one, which I swear I got last year. It says when life gives you lemons, make something sweet. And there's lemons right there. I can't wait for them to get all the lemon stuff in again. And then I got this one that says bless our home. I know they had stuff similar to this last year. It was like succulents though. Um, one more thing that I like about this, so the Bless Your Home one, our home, I don't like the top of it, but you can take these out and just use the bottom of it, or you can take the galvanized metal piece off and then use it in another DIY. Or use it in a DIY. I don't 
Okay. You guys, I have been waiting for Dollar Tree to get something like this in for honestly like two years. Pastel succulents. I have seen pastel succulents and I've bought them from like Michaels and from um, Hobby Lobby, but I've never seen them at Dollar Tree. The closest they get is sometimes they have like a light orange one. You guys, look at this. All these pretty pastel succulents. There's a pretty blue, there's a light orange, there's a, a purple and a pink. I'm sure there's other ones you can find, but these were the ones that I was able to find. And how pretty are they? The ones that I actually bought from Michaels, they weren't a buck. I got them like half off and I paid $2.50 for each one because they were like originally $4.99. This is the first time I've ever seen pastel succulents at Dollar Tree. Oh, so happy to see those. I've never seen anything like this before at Dollar Tree. It is um, a wreath charm. So there's a hole at the top and you can feed like thread, twine, whatever you want through there and like um, tie it around a rope. So I got one that says spring and one that says blossom. There was different ones, but these ones I thought were really nice for Easter time. There's actually, I just noticed like a zip tie looking thing in the back of this that I'm guessing you can use it to tie around a wreath. Then I purchased these balloons. It's like a spring balloon color type of thing. So I actually purchased them because I was like, if we do a gender reveal, I want to do my own little balloon like um, prop decor. I'm not going to pay somebody to do it for me. And I really like the colors in this thing. So I was like, maybe I'll use these. I bought two of them just in case I don't see them again. There's 15 in each one. They can blow up to 12 inches, but my guess is I'll do like smaller balloons and then bigger balloons. I don't know, pretty colors. Now I'm going to show you the rest of the Easter items that I got that I thought I didn't. Found more like tabletop decor. These ones I haven't seen in the past at Dollar Tree. I got this one that says Happy Easter. They all say Happy Easter. It is a bunny and this one I like a lot. And then I got this one that says Follow the Bunny. He has the chocolate. And this one I actually got from my mother. It matches more so her home decor. I don't know. I feel like I might end up doing like neutral Easter decor maybe pops a color here and there because for Valentine's Day I did your pinks and your reds and I didn't like it like I left it up but I did not like it and I just took it down as soon as Valentine's Day was over yesterday I took it all down because I just didn't like the way it looked I think these items are gonna be popular Dollar Tree got in these scarves and I feel like people are gonna buy these and use them for different projects. Um, it's more translucent, it's not very thick, very lightweight. I mean, some people might wear them too, I don't know, but I just feel like a lot of people will buy these and try to use them for different projects. I already have something in mind. And then, what else did I get, you guys? Oh, I found this Bedhead Rockaholic um, spray. So it's Thunderstruck Texturizing Salt Spray. When I was younger, I used to use salt spray all the time when I was in high school, but I used the Garnier Fructis one and I would put it in my hair when I get out of the shower so I can make myself look like I have beach waves. I haven't done that in so long. And Bedhead is a name brand, so I was like, oh, let me give it a try. I haven't done it in forever. Got two more things to share with you guys. I got a bunch of gray like little organizers so i got a basket i got these little bins um right here and then down here i got this basket that's holding all the easter signs right now so i bought these because we're slowly since we found out that i was pregnant we have slowly started to get rid of things um that we don't want around with a baby or a toddler running around and just trying to organize things while we still can and one of those things that needs to be organized is our linen closet. Um, I had it organized when we first moved in, but obviously it turned into a big mess and I gotta do a better job of organizing it. So I bought these things to try to figure out my life. Thank you so much for watching this Dollar Tree haul last week. I asked you guys a question. I haven't done that in forever. Last week I wanted to know what your favorite reality show is and these are some of the comments I saw. Trish Pipkin said I watch true crime. That's the kind of reality show I watch. Police 123 CD said, oh Bethany, I'd rather have a root canal before I watch reality shows. LOL. I rather watch reality shows, I think, even though, they, like I said, sometimes they really piss me off. A lot of people said 90 Day Fiance. That's top common, Donnie Munch. I kind of got hooked on 90 Day Fiance. Here are some of the other responses I saw. There were people who watch reality shows, though. It's not just me. So for this week's question, I want to know what food makes you feel full. And I'm asking this question because I have to consistently eat and obviously every pregnant woman does because you're eating for two but if I don't I have a really bad pain in my abdomen it's just that gnawing hunger pain 
and it hurts a lot. So I just eat, I eat, I eat, I eat. And I feel like most of the stuff that I eat doesn't make me feel full. Like one of those things that I read that makes me feel full is popcorn and like I'll eat popcorn and I don't feel full. In the morning yesterday, I ate a bowl of cereal. I ate half a bagel. I had um, Velveeta cookie crackers, two of them, and I was still hungry and I'm like, oh my gosh, how much do I have to eat? So I'm just looking for things that make me feel full. I've heard nuts help but I haven't really had much luck with nuts. And also, some things I don't really eat much anymore because it reminds me of like when I was vomiting. So there's things I try to avoid now, like lemon right now, I don't like. I don't like ginger right now. I don't like um, peppermint right now, just because those were things I was eating when the nausea was bad. So now I just really associate it with vomiting and stuff. So I'm just looking for new things to try. So let me know what food makes you feel full down in the comments below thank you so much for watching this week's dollar tree haul and monday i'm going to upload the reactions of my family and friends and i loved actually my parents reaction because my parents their first time grandparents this is going to be their first grandchild so if you're interested come back monday and hopefully next week i have um a diy out for you guys i haven't filmed anything yet but i'm crossing my fingers i get something out anyways i'll see you guys next time take care bye